Hi, I'm Anand and I'm Jiyad. We are group number 25 and for our final year undergraduate project, we built an atmospheric turbulence chamber for laser beam testing. To illustrate the effects that turbulence has on a light, let's start by giving an example. Imagine it's a midnight and you're at a campfire with your friends. You see your friend sitting opposite you, but you think to yourself, they look a bit hazy. So you think at first, hey, maybe I'm just a little bit drunk. So you start laying down. And you look up at the stars and they shimmer a little bit. That's what turbulence does. Turbulence is the reason for the hazy view. Turbulence is also the reason for the shimmering stars. So why is this important? Nowadays, we require quick access to information. Although reliable, cable connections are restrictive and are slow. Therefore, the next step is free space optical communications. Optical communication works well under ideal conditions, but we are required to test this under turbulence effects. Our approach to generating turbulence in a smaller area begins with two main sections, a heater and a cooler. The heater is comprised of a row of resistors, which when powered, heats up the air surrounding it, which is then blown into the chamber. To improve the range of turbulence, a water cooling system has been implemented. This would allow the, the fans on the outside of the chamber to blow cooler air into it. The user may control the turbulence strength by varying wind speed as well as the temperature of the heater and cooler. When the hot and cold air meet in the middle of the chamber, small pockets of air circulate between the top and bottom of the chamber. This is turbulence. Show the effects that turbulence has on the laser. A crosshair was drawn on the wall with the laser being aligned to its center. As you can see in the video, as the temperature difference or turbulence strength increases, so does the amount of wobble from the laser. The graph on the screen shows the correlation between the increase in temperature with the increase of turbulent strength. This explains why the laser beam would wobble more with an increase in temperature difference. An alternative to the CN squared value is known as the atmospheric coherence length. This parameter is used to describe the minimum distance between two turbulent air pockets before becoming uncorrelated. In other words, if you set two lasers one length apart, then they would experience two different types of turbulences. So next time you're stargazing, remember us. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.